Windows 10 is free, but Microsoft wants to charge you to play a DVD? Oh no. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. There are some things in life you shouldn't have to pay a fee to use, and playing a DVD movie on your computer's DVD drive is one of those things. Windows 10 users are in a bit of a tizzy right now because the operating system upgrade last week was free, but for some people it didn't come with any program to let you watch a DVD in your computer's DVD drive. That's right, no Windows Media Center. I know the concept of using a DVD to watch a movie must seem archaic in this streaming age, but hey, if you have the DVD drive on your computer, you should be able to use it to watch DVDs. So these people who can't play DVDs are going to the Windows App Store to find a solution and behold, there's the Windows DVD player program to download listed for $15. But before you pay a movie ticket price to watch the movies you already own, be aware there are free programs out there that do the same thing. You don't have to pay. One of the most popular free programs is VLC Media Player, and it plays a variety of media formats. Now, some people out there don't have this issue. The Windows DVD Player program comes free if you were upgrading from a version of Windows that came with the Media Center program, such as Windows 7 Home Premium, Professional, and Ultimate, along with Windows Windows 8 and 8.1 with Media Center. For those folks, it'll arrive as an automatic software update. Moving on from playing video to streaming video, Facebook is mimicking the success of Periscope and Meerkat and created its own app for broadcasting live video feeds. But there's a catch only celebrities can use it. The feature is simply called Live, and it lets public figures and celebrities broadcast live video from their phone to their fan base. Some of the first to use it were professional skier Lindsey Vaughn and country star Luke Bryan, and actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson is also in the mix. The people broadcasting see a real-time stream of comments and how many people are watching live, but what makes it different from Twitter's Periscope is that the videos don't disappear after a day. They live on in the Facebook page until the person deletes it. No word from Facebook if it'll expand this feature to all users, but you think they would with how serious Facebook is getting into becoming a video hub. Live works for the public figures to communicate to followers, but there's another change Facebook is making to help businesses better communicate to customers. You may start to see the option to talk to a company on Facebook through the Messenger chat app. You can think of it as a way to directly reach customer service, but it's in the same app that you chat with your friends. That's it for this tech news update, and you can always get more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.